الحمد لله وقفا وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى خصوصا على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى اله واصحابه وازواجه وذرياته اجمعين اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون بارك الله لنا ولكم في القران العظيم ونفعنا واياكم بالايات والذكر الحكيم انه تعالى جواد كريم ملك بر الرؤوف الرحيم in the 60s and the 70s when i was growing up i had a great hero and i think all of you will be able to recognize and associate with that great hero and he was muhammad ali you all remember muhammad ali ha huh? and 60s and 70s were the two decades of severe racism all all over the west particularly america where the blacks were discriminated against and the civil rights movement of martin luther king was at its height and but this man muhammad ali of all was a great hero for all black people and particularly the muslims because he was called muhammad ali and when he was in the ring you saw his courage and his bravery out of the ring when he spoke he spoke with audaciousness and boldness and with huge courage not only that but in fact he challenged the american government when he was to be sent to vietnam he refused he said no why should i go and kill people thousands of miles away who've done nothing wrong to me now that is a big thing to stand up for your justice and sense of justice and stand up for truth that that's not easy you know i i just actually finished reading his biography called the soul of a butterfly i do recommend you read it because you know we live in an age of fear people are very fearful you need to build that courage of course our quran is full of stories of bravery in fact i'm just now teaching surah hud to our teenagers and that whole surah is about the seven great prophets who were very very brave far braver than muhammad ali and what is really interesting about the soul of the butterfly muhammad ali's biography he's a very strong believer and he says you know what i am my bravery my truthfulness my generosity and my goodness and my success is all because of islam he keeps on repeating that actually many times he says all i am is really because of islam i would never be like this if islam wasn't in my heart and it didn't it's what gave me my spiritual compass my moral compass and what it's made me like that and of course bravery and courage shujaa is one of the 10 great moral values and we see it in the life of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to one of the highest levels okay and in the life of the prophets all the prophets were very brave i've quoted you here from the majestic quran nu al islam's prayer of desperation now nu al islam was a brave man as well as all prophets were can you you know musa al islam is told musa go and preach to the pharaoh he says ya allah you know he's got a murder case against me how can i go and stand in front of him and challenge him he's got a murder case against me allah says go do it be brave we are with you jana ana ma'akum ana ma'akum i am going to be with both of you you and your brother harun go and stand up tell him the truth okay you know and each prophet was very brave how could you stand up and musa you know nu al islam was again somebody who stood up against in the quran often says 
وقال الملا الذين كفروا the chiefs of the disbelievers the leaders of the disbelievers stood up against them okay not one but several of these the whole system would stand up against this one man okay but he doesn't give in he knows he's got the truth but what is this truth about it's nothing abstract it's nothing remote it really it's about standing up for the poorest it's standing up for social justice it's standing up for truth it's standing up for putting people in their right place and to see what is real what is falsehood what is delusion you know something uh, muhammad ali really uh, mentions in his book at the beginning why i believe in god he says well he says you know someone told me that walt disney or one of these great places is is you know it just came into being by itself and it's been run by itself there's no manager there's no workers it's just happened and it's doing so well that it's making such a big profit and there is no mind behind it there is no builder behind it no architect no engineer it just happened to be so he said if anybody said that to you what would you say to them you send them to the hospital to the you know to the mad unit you know you need to get your head checked how can something like this run it has a designer it has a planner it has engineers it has people who spend thousands and thousands of hours designing it building it keeping it up maintaining it and running it isn't that true and it says how could this world be without a designer who is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know he, had, he was a man of faith so you know nuwal islam after preaching for 950 years the quran tells us he says to allah ya allah i've had enough of these people <laughs> i've had enough of these and eventually nu prayed my lord they disobeyed me and followed those whose wealth and children increased them in loss they followed those their leaders they said this is they followed those leaders those chieftains of theirs they devised a scheme of great magnitude they tell them don't abandon your gods and don't abandon wad sowa yaghus and yaruk and nasr so don't abandon don't abandon your wealth don't abandon your 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 uh, wonderful houses don't wonder don't don't abandon your careers don't abandon your uh, you know uh, <coughs> businesses don't abandon your shops or this was the materialist mindset you know these idols were really nothing but their desires all right so when we talk about in you know, the quran and of course that's what idols were the quran calls them musamma they were just names they just ne- but really what they were they were their inner yearnings they were their inner desires which they had given a form and idolized and gave them a shape but really they were their inner desires the greeks you know when they wanted something they desired it and then they made their god out of it and in that shape in order to achieve their own desires so it's not really uh, so uh, you know it's just like modern you know trumps Boris's Putin's and Imran's saying to us don't abandon your gods and don't abandon these idols of yours whatever you, those idols may be for you okay don't abandon them you know they have misled many my lord do not increase the wicked except from going further and further astray from the truth due to their sins they were drowned and then thrown into hell they couldn't find any helper for them against allah you know it's really interesting due to their sins they were drowned so then of course comes that tsunami and that flood of 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 uh, nuwal islam 10000 years ago uh, on the shores of what is nowadays the black sea and there are archaeological re- remains you know that actually point to this fact that this is where nuwal islam's people were and so due to, uh, and mount judi is of course in the east or eastern uh, turkey um near the van lake inshallah in dwakra when things are better we might be able to visit it okay it's an amazing place so they were drowned and then thrown into hell ya allah 
قیامت آئی کوئی نہیں جہنم کی طرح گئی سو فرام دس دی علما ڈیڈیوس دیٹ دس ریلی مینس دی عذاب القبر عذاب ال فنس دے ور ڈراؤنڈ دے ون دیٹ واز دیئر قبر ناؤ اینڈ دے ور دی عذاب از آف سو فرام دس یو گیٹ دا پروف آف دی عذاب القبر جو ہے نا سو دے کوڈن فائنڈ اینی ہیلپر فار دم اگینسٹ اللہ نو پریڈ مائی لارڈ ڈونٹ لیو اینی ڈس بلیور آن ارتھ ناٹ اے سنگل ون آف دم اوکے سو یو نو دس از دا بریوری to stand up for truth and reality and to speak justice. And, you know, we live, as I say, one of the reasons for choosing this uh, topic of courage, audaciousness and boldness and bravery is because, you know, people are very afraid and, 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 and fearful uh, of all sorts of things, you know, their life, their health, their business, uh, their careers, their future, okay? We're all fearful of that. And it is time to, you know, be bold, you know, and, and be able to take risks, okay? Bravery very simply means, you know, to be willing to take risks and to know that, yes, I could be harmed, my business could be harmed, uh, my standing would be harmed, my fame, name would be harmed, even my family and even my life. But because it is truth, I will have to stand up for it. And of course, we're now coming towards Muharram, the new Islamic year, which also is about, again, bravery of Sayyidina Isa alayhi uh, salam and, 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 uh, and, and his family. Okay, so we see another, you know, theme of bravery and courage. Uh, and, and this is what jihad is all about. Jihad is being courageous to speak the truth. وَجَاهِدْهُمْ بِهِ جِهَادًا kabira. the Quran says. Do jihad with the kuffar. With what? Bihi. And this bihi, all the Mufassalin say, refers to the Quran. So you do jihad with the Qur'an. So Muhammad Ali, you know, when he spoke, he spoke, you know, bravely and strongly to, f- to face those white supremacists and to challenge them, really, and, 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 and to um, speak the truth, really. So, you know, we are wajahidhum bihi jihadan kabira. But, you know, we can't do jihad of the Qur'an if we don't know the Qur'an. The jihad of the Qur'an is to help people to come out of their delusions like Nuh alayhi salam did, like Hud alayhi salam did, like Saleh and like Shu'ab and like all those great prophets you know, mentioned in the Qur'an. All of them were great, brave people. And Muhammad al-Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, our role model. He, of course, you know, there are many beautiful ahadiths which show how brave and courageous he was. Of course, he stood up in Mecca all alone. Okay? He was alone facing and, 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 and being challenged uh, and, and called all sorts of names, threatened okay? uh, verbally and then of course later on physically even. But Rasulullah didn't desist, didn't uh, leave, he didn't abandon his message, he didn't compromise. A slightest, you know, they said, you know, why don't we do this? You know, you stop um, criticizing and condemning our gods. Uh, and then, you know, one year we'll worship your God and one year you worship us. I said, no, lakum deenukum waliyadeen. There is no compromise. You keep your religion. For me, it's my religion. I'm not going to make compromises. Uh, so, you know, bravery and courage, I, I would say, is a, is a, a great moral virtue uh, where, which we need to adopt. And particularly, you know, at a time when there is so much fear around us, okay? Uh, we have to be brave, strong, uh, and realize that وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى Your coming tomorrow is going to be better than your yesterday. Your next year is going to be better than your past year. And your future is going to be far better than your past, inshallah, Allah Aziz. That is a divine promise. Okay, that is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is a principle, you know, that Allah has given us. That, you know, you are going to be on the high. You're going to be, you are going to get, go up and up. You're going to rise. If only, وَلَا تَهِنُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِي You know, this is how the Quran encourages the Sahaba right in the middle of the battle of Uhud. وَلَا تَهِنُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا You know, don't feel anxious or weak, or distressed, nor be fearful. So don't have that distress and feel down, and don't fear either. وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنِ You are the loftiest, 
You are the exalted. You are the highest. What does that mean? You are highest. Meaning, you will have the upper hand. You will be the victorious. So it's a metaphor actually for being victorious, triumphant, winners, very simply. But there is a condition. It's a conditional phrase. Condi clause. Condition is what? In kuntum mu'mini. If only you were true believers. You had that conviction. Faith, you know, is, is about having that conviction, certainty. No doubts in it, inshallah, that Allah is going to give us success. Wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.